Hello everyone, welcome back to Minding the Gap. I'm Sue Hodgman and this is Greg Allen, still behind the camera. We're bringing you some helpful information on taking care of yourself emotionally and mentally during and after this COVID emergency. In collaboration with San Juan County, San Juan Safe Communities and the Mental Health Task Force, we're giving experts a few moments to share helpful ideas and tips on important subjects like anxiety, depression, grief, and many other important issues we're all facing right now. Today we have Joel Jones with San Juan Peer Support. Hello, my name is Joel Jones and I'm a certified peer support worker in the state of New Mexico. I am also a person in long-term recovery from a mental illness and a substance use disorder. I know that many of us are struggling right now to find the right support at the right time. I am a volunteer with San Juan Peer Support and wanted to talk a little bit about what we currently have to offer. San Juan Peer Support is a group of people whose focus is on recovery and resiliency. We're pleased to bring DTR, Double Trouble in Recovery, to you via Zoom meetings every Wednesday at 6 p.m. DTR is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength, and hope with each other so that they may solve their common problems and help others recover from their particular addiction and manage their mental health disorders. This is often called a dual diagnosis or co-occurring disorder. DTR is designed to meet the needs of people who, in addition to having a substance abuse problem, have also been diagnosed with a mental health disorder. For many of us, having an addiction and a mental health disorder represents double trouble in recovery. Trouble that is often further complicated by the problems and benefits of psychiatric medication. DTR is adapted from the 12-step program AA, or Alcoholics Anonymous. The DTR Fellowship is founded upon equality, one duly diagnosed person sharing and talking with and never down to another. Like AA and other such groups, the DTR program is built around regular meetings, a sponsorship system, and a mutual support in working the steps and adhering to the program's traditions. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking and drugging and to work on one's mental health. Members pay no dues. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. Many of us are feeling hopeless at this time and we at San Juan Peer Support are hoping that you or someone you know will join together to learn to open yourself to a new experience, to put aside old ideas as we submit together to the steps of recovery. If you are interested, please reach out to Cindy Collier, who is also a CPSW and the facilitator of the DTR meetings, or myself for more information and invitations via Zoom. Our information is on the screen. Stay healthy, stay sober, and reach out for support when you need it. Thank you, Joel. You can reach out to San Juan Peer Support through the information listed on the screen. We'll be bringing you another Minding the Gap episode soon, and in the meantime, our resource page can be found at the San Juan County website, San Juan Safe Communities website, and the Mental Health Task Force Facebook page. Thank you, and we'll see you again soon.